I was very surprised and delighted to unearth scrapbooks recently which I used to document the earlier years in my gang stalking. The earliest of my handwritten notes begin in 2011 at a previous Peckham address before moving to the current flat here at 11 Dayak Court, SE15. It won't make for the most stimulating of reads, but will allow the reader to see how my gang stalking journey began and has evolved. There appears to be a chunk missing from 2012 to 2013 where I'm introduced to a new and I'd say horrific component in my targeting but it is mentioned in entries from 2013 and later. My targeting began in 2009 and I'd be surprised if it was my idea to start a diary but I'm pleased I did some two years later.
One important missing part of the diary is from around early September 2012. It's possible I didn't document this. Three years of the continuous daily and nightly noise harassment, deliberate noise harassment, being followed room to room, and sleep deprivation did get to me psychologically, and I sent an email to the then director of Southwark Housing. I threatened to kill Daniel Mesfin. Not the smartest move on my part, and I guess I was weeks or maybe a few months away from discovering the gang stalking program. Had I learnt of this sooner, it's highly unlikely I would have sent such an email with its obvious consequences. Those consequences were a visit from the police early one morning. I was sleeping on the balcony and two cops had let themselves in to wake me. The reason for their presence was to escort me to Maudsley Hospital in Camwell for a psych evaluation. I stayed in all day and well into the evening at Maudsley and during that time had blood taken and was interviewed by some mind specialists. The final decision and it might have been a close call, was that I could go home and wouldn't be sectioned indefinitely. The police drove me back in a police van and the cops were friendly and maybe even sympathetic. When I got back to the flat, I picked up the axe I'd purchased some days or weeks earlier and chopped Daniel into pieces and then tried to feed the local foxes, but I think they could smell the evil within his flesh and they ran away howling okay I didn't chop Daniel up but the cops did come back to the flat with me and removed the axe I'd purchased Samuel Pepys and the Marquis de Sade I'm not and I am aware my diary entries won't earn me the Pulitzer Prize for literature they have some merit however minuscule, in that they describe those early years in my targeting. Gang stalking didn't enter my vocabulary until late 2012 or early 2013. The reason for my awakening was that pulsing weapon I describe clumsily in my diary. An online search using terms which I presume were along the lines of sonic weapons or pulsing weapons used on humans led to that awakening. I haven't read through the later entries of my handwritten diary yet, but suspect there's enough there to extend this video by at least another 10 minutes. So I'll end this one here and will upload a second and maybe a third video on those other diary entries written between the years 2013 to 2016.